So, Chris, let's talk about uh, broad keywords. What do you think about setting up mm. an experiment inside of Google Ads? It's a very simple one. Very simple. You set up an experiment. In the experiment version, you highlight all your keywords and you change phrase match to broad. Don't keep originals. And you, you change exact match to broad. Don't keep originals. And you're essentially running same bidding strategy, same location, same ads, same keywords, but you're just testing out broad keywords with a percentage of the budget that you want to test out. Um, the alternative would be to run two campaigns at the same time or an ad group of broad keywords, whatever, all in one campaign, two campaigns against each other or at the same time, I should say, or an experiment where it runs your phrase and exact keywords a percentage of the time or it runs your broad keywords a percentage of the time. Right. What do you think about doing broad keywords in an experiment campaign, splitting that budget versus setting up a second campaign with a second budget? I, I'm going to set aside why you would want to do it. Um, and I'll just answer the question. Yes, this is absolutely the kind of thing, an experiment. This is what we were describing. This is a big change. This is a um, huge shift that can change the momentum of the campaign. It changes the targeting. It changes the audience type. This is not just a messaging thing like uh, with, with, with ads. This is completely different traffic. And, different traffic, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I I could think of a couple reasons why maybe you might do it. Maybe you're using max conversions and it, you know, a lot of times these max conversions can actually do better if they have enough signal to actually do better with broad match than it can with Let, phrase. Let's say you just have a question. Like you just like we like our campaign, we like our phrasing exact keyword results. We hear a lot of talk about broad keywords. We want to rip the band-aid off and see what's try gonna it. happen. Yeah. Just try, try it out. out. Try yeah. it out. Yeah. Now but the question is like, do you could, do you like doing that with the same over? Well, I guess it comes down to budget. Like if you can add on budget and run a second campaign um, with all broad keywords, like a broad keyword campaign and just get performance data on that on its own with its own campaign, you can do that. I think the only issue is, is that you have to add budget to do that or, or you have to take budget from your original campaign. Now, another way to keep the same overall budget and take budget from your original campaign, but just keep the data separate and cleaner is to just run an all broad keyword experiment with a mm -hmm. percentage of that budget. Um, I mean, do, do you think like, is that a valid reason to do it? Or do you think, no, you should always add budget and run a second campaign? I, um, I would definitely run an experiment for those rather than a second campaign. If you're going to do all broad. Like if I'm going to do all broad. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because if you're going to do all broad, I'm assuming you're going to keep the same automated bid strategy, right? Um, and in order to do that, I wouldn't want to run a second campaign because I can't, I can't stop those broad keywords from overtaking those phrase match keywords. Let's say they're both on max conversions and I set a mm -hmm. second campaign up with the same budget or half budget. How do I know that I'm not getting, you know, like we had talked about, the main concern, cannibalization, competition between the two, you know, where they're both yeah, yeah. trying to get the same traffic. I, a couple of weeks down the road, you might have the broad keywords eating up uh, the traffic that was coming what, from the phrase stuff. Which you might be fine with once you see that broad keywords are going to work. And when someone sure. does that exact search that you're okay with the, the broad campaign eating up that or getting in front of that search. I'm fine with that, but that's after I've determined that it's worth it. After sure. I've eliminated the risk. That's sure. what experiments are so great at is eliminating the question, eliminating the risk and of the not knowing. That's what experiments are for. Yeah, and you can put 10% of your budget on it and run it yeah. for 30 days and see what just see what happens. Yeah. And, you, and you're you controlling the risk. You could let that run for months and forget about it and not even think about it till, you know, let it run all the way through an entire season, you know, Christmas season, summer season, whatever, you know, and, and during a low time and just not even touch it. Just don't put a Jason right now. I have an experiment that's been going for two and a half years. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's, it, it's great. It's going great. Sure. I'll tell you a yeah. secret. Verdict's still I'll out. We're still secret. waiting. Still gathering data. <laughs> we don't know yeah, yet. Still gathering data. No, there's a secret. 
I'm actually running two experiments because the client said, Chris, I want to send stuff to our website and I want to send stuff to our Amazon page, but it's mm -hmm. the exact same traffic. What do you do? Genius Chris set up an experiment of the original campaign and I'm splitting the traffic 50 50 one going to Amazon one going to their website and just set it indefinitely with no um, expiration date. So now I'm constantly sending traffic and I'm not competing with the two uh, traffic. And this, this is a lot simpler than setting up two campaigns and one runs Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, oh, the gosh. other one runs yeah. three days a week. And then they each have smaller daily budgets. And then that right. affects your ability to kind of really run the way you should yeah. run with your cost. Because you know that, yeah. that spins go up and down. Some of them, you know, there might be one's not getting the full 50% and the other one's getting 60%. You know, I mean, that absolutely can be an issue. So, I mean, this is one of those things that experiments can be extremely versatile. And I've been doing it for years for this one. Yeah. Time. Yeah, there's a whole other kind of world of experiments where experiment is not the right word and just maybe variation is, yeah. is the right word.